There were billions of these trees all across this range. By the 1850s, a blight came in from the landscaping trade that absolutely decimated these trees. And all that's left is just the ghost of those roots. The good part of the story is that for the last 30 years, there have been scientists at State University of New York that have been trying to figure out how they can create a chestnut tree that is blight resistant. And they've succeeded. It's really incredible what they've done. And they've done it with one trans gene from wheat. This is Bill Powell. He's the scientist who has pushed this forward. Now, his team has had to go through incredible hurdles to bring this tree through the regulatory path because it is the first genetically engineered wild species. And he's really been a model for Revive and Restore. And the part that I particularly love about his story and, and why we didn't have to fund them, all we had to do was just advocate for the tree, is because he actually was transparent about the research that he was doing from the beginning. And I believe this year is the year that these trees will be commercially available. The chestnut is, is not technically our project. I just am a huge advocate for it. And as I said, it's been a model for us for all these years. 